Welcome to my Accounting 1120 discussion on financial analysis. My goal is to take a look at our last category, ratio analysis, and I want to remind you that this is an art, not a science. Although there are many ways that you could line these up, we're going to look at our author's categories. And we'll see if at the end of this, You've learned an ability to decide if you're warm and fuzzy or cold and prickly. What was this first category? Do you remember? It was ratios that could be used to evaluate a business's ability to pay their current liabilities. At the last page of the chapter, your author has all ratios listed. So you can see them, their formula, and the information that they provide, or the analysis that they give. In this category, evaluating a business's ability to pay current liabilities, we have the working capital ratio, the current ratio, the cash ratio, and the asset test. After you've calculated those four ratios for yourself for a period of time, for your competitors, and for your industry, you're going to feel like this business you're analyzing has an ability to pay their current liabilities or not. I'm not going to write down those formulas. You need to go to the last page of the chapter, read those, and look at the information that they provide and study that a bit. Let's move on to category two. The next category is to evaluate a business's ability to sell inventory and collect on those sales. We have some ratios. Do that. Your inventory turnover. How many times do you turn your inventory in a year? How many day sales do you have in inventory? Enough? Not enough? What's your gross profit percentage? What's your accounts receivable turnover? How many times a year do you collect your accounts receivable? What's your day sales in accounts receivable? If your average day sales and receivables 42 and your accounts receivable terms are net 30, you're probably overall doing a fine job. How about the third category? How about the evaluate the ability of a business to pay long-term debt? If you're going to invest in their bonds, is this of interest to you? The ratios you might study are the debt ratio, the debt to equity ratio, and the times interest earned ratio. After doing this, you would have a fill for if you thought the business were going to be able to pay you back the money that you invested in their bonds. That would be of interest to you. How about evaluating profitability? This business is in, reason, in business for a reason. How are they doing at that? There are some ratios that help you decide for yourself. The profit margin ratio, the return on assets ratio, the return on equity, and the earnings per share ratios. If you evaluated these ratios for a business for your current year, the last couple of years, compared them to your competitors and to your industry, you'd have a really good feel for if you thought this business was behaving in a profitable fashion. The next category, how about evaluating stock as an investment? Are you thinking about buying their stock? What could you do to decide if you liked the way it was going? You'd be interested in the price earnings ratio, the dividend yield ratio, and the dividend payout ratio. We've talked about these ratios all through the chapters we've studied in our book, so it's nice that this chapter has them all listed together. What you'll find is in the ratio section, they'll show you how to calculate the ratios with real numbers. That analyze them with you and then they'll help you decide if you think it's a good trend or not good trend. At the end of the chapter the ratios are all listed so you can find them all together. You know some books list ratios differently. They might look at the evaluated business's ability pay liabilities is a liquidity issue. Is the business liquid? And the ability to sell inventory and collect us is the business efficient in their operation. So we have liquidity and efficiency. 
they might look at long-term debt as how risky is this business, regardless of how the book approaches it, whether they're looking at liquidity, efficiency, and risk, or if they're looking at it in other categories, you get to the same place. Your goal is to be able to do horizontal, vertical, and ratio analysis so that you could take annual reports or financial statements and their notes and that you could run those procedures on them and as an external person to this organization you can use them to make a decision. Do you want to invest in this business or not? Does it make you say, yes, I'm in? Or does it make you say, nah, I'll pass? That's the goal. And there isn't like this line that you had. It's more like, how are you feeling? That, my friends, is how you do ratio analysis. So, I have some suggestions for you as you approach this project that's ahead of you. The first thing I would suggest is that you take it seriously. Not doing this project has the ability to move your grade about a half a point. So, if you're at an A-, minus, you're down to a B. So, take it seriously. Two, study the racial part of the chapter. We've talked about all of these before. This is a capstone chance for you to where you can look at it from a place of knowledge starting. The third thing is for you to do a college level effort on the writing of your paper. Take it seriously. If you read the whole project, there's a lot of advice on how to do it well, put it together properly, and have it be a fine final project. So read the whole project before you get started. There's lots of suggestions in there. Finally, there are a lot of ratios included on the final. Most of them come from Accounting 1120 since it's an accounting 1120 final, but we did have a ratio analysis chapter, so technically they're all in there. I've graded many finals where when I'm looking at percents, I've had to write minus nine because someone didn't even attempt to do the simplest of ratios that they had just done when they did their financial analysis. I don't know what this looks like to you, but it looks to me like a hit that you don't need to suffer on your final. Then you take off all the other points. That's a big hit. And the final's worth 20% of your grade. So please take the ratio analysis part of this seriously and do a good job. And once again, thank you for joining me. It's probably not fun to listen to me drone on. I don't even like to listen to me drone on. So thanks for joining me. Let's wrap this up with a bow. Talk to you later, my friends. Bye-bye.